Hey guys, Buffalo here. Today we're going to do a video on the 870 Youth Model 20 gauge. And what it is is just a shortened 20 gauge. The uh, stock's been shortened and it's wearing a shorter barrel. Everything else is the same as the regular size 870s. Uh, it's called a youth model. I prefer to call it a compact model since my youth left me a while back. But uh, we're going to put some rounds to it today. It is a 4 plus 1, 4 to 2, 1 of the chamber shotgun. I've got a variety of targets set up. We've got a variety of ammo. I've got some buckshot, got some slugs, got some bird shot, even got some turkey loads. So we're gonna shoot this thing a little bit. Let's get going. You guys will hear a lot of people talking about how the 20 gauge don't have enough power to really be considered as a home defense shotgun. I beg to differ. Let's take out some cinder blocks. All right, guys, it looks like we've got some pretty good sized pieces left. Let's go ahead and take them out. Yeah, I think the 20 gauge hits plenty hard. All right guys, so some of you may be wondering why an adult would see any interest in a youth model shotgun. But uh, think about it as a home defense gun. A lot of times you'll buy a shorter stock or maybe a pistol grip or whatever or a shorter barrel to put on your home defense gun anyway. And uh, it makes it easier to handle down hallways, through doorways and such. But uh, this one already comes with those features. You don't have to do anything to it. And it being 20 gauge, you can adjust your uh, loads down to where so you've got a wife home alone, maybe she's small statured, she'll be able to handle this gun just fine. And it's also packing plenty of punch to get the job done. Now I've got uh, three, those one pound uh, propane cylinders set up down here. I'm gonna shoot one with bird shot, one with number three buck, and one with the slug. And we'll see what the differences are. All right guys, remember, loading up a shotgun magazine too. First one in is last one out. We've got our slug in. Got her buckshot in and her bird shot. I hate to disappoint you guys too bad, but these little one pound propane tanks are empty. So uh, sorry about that. We'll start with the one on the left to work our way right. All right, here goes the buckshot. Oh, that one had a little left in it. Plug. All right, guys, I'll go round these up and we'll take a look at them. Okay, guys, went down and picked them up. Uh, the real results are pretty much what I expected. These cylinders are pretty tough, but you can see the bird shot, just a couple of them got through it. Left a pretty good pattern there on the front, but didn't really go into the tank much. Now on the butt, the pattern was uh, there on the side and it uh, definitely went in it. You can hear the buckshot still inside. Left a lot bigger holes. And of course the slug went clean through and through. So it gives you kind of an idea of what the different rounds will do. And we'll shoot some more stuff and demonstrate that too. Now another reason uh, you might want to own a shotgun like this is hunting. If you've ever walked these hills here in eastern Kentucky with a big heavy 10 pound 12 gauge, you'll know what I'm talking about. A little light gun like this makes all the difference in the world. Now you can, uh, you can load a 12 gauge down to 20 gauge loads, but you still got a big heavy shotgun. With a shotgun like this, you can get around a lot better. And uh, it's a real game getter, and you can adjust your loads to watch your hunting. Now I've got three water jugs set up down here. We're gonna do the same way we did the propane tanks. Bird shot, 
buckshot, and a slug. Like a bird, here comes the buckshot. And here comes the slug. Man, that slug really hits them hard. All right, guys. Here you can see the bird shot, how it, there's so many of them. That's what makes the difference in bird shot. It completely filled the jug there. Some of them were still in it. Uh, the buck shot passed right through. Didn't have the hydraulic effect I was looking for, but it did blow it out the back. But it, much bigger holes. And of course the slug, man, when those hit water, you get that massive hydraulic effect. It threw it water everywhere. All right, we'll move on to uh, something else here. I've got a door, an exterior home door set up. We'll put all three rounds into that door. That's just your typical door. It's got the uh, steel outers with the uh, soft wood and foam sandwiched in between. And we'll see how it reacts to being shot with the 20 gauge. All right, guys, now we're gonna shoot this door just to give you an idea of how different uh, loads react in, in real world obstacles. So we're gonna shoot this door with bird shot, buck shot, and slug. But first, since we are doing a home defense video, I wanna tell you guys how I got this door. See, this door was on my brother's house about three days ago. And some weasel caught him not home and decided to kick it in and rob my brother. Now, uh, had my brother been home, he would have found himself in a self-defense scenario. So if any of you weasels out there are watching this video, when you kick that door in, when you break somebody's lock, you're saying that you accept that you're willing to give your life to get into that house and take somebody's stuff. Now I don't know what what would make uh, anything worth that to you, but it could have ended real bad had somebody been home when they done this to him. But he has given me this door to shoot today, so let's have some fun with it. All right, guys, same thing again. Bird shot first, buck shot second, slug last. Now I'm about 21 feet away from the door, so let's see how she acts. There's your bird shot. There's your buck. There's your slug. We'll get you a better angle on this so you can see the uh, how the three shots pattern. Bird shot. Slug. All right, guys. You can see the pattern of the bird shot, the buck shot, and the slug, and you can see where the wad hit there for the slug. But uh, all three rounds did penetrate completely through this metal door. Like I said, it's metal skins on the door on either side. It's got the foam insulation in the middle. The bird shot did barely penetrate. The buckshot and the slug went through easily. Step around, we'll show you the back side. All right, again, from the back side, you can see where the bird shot, the buck, the slug came out. Uh, these two went through easily. The bird shot, a lot of them just hit and caused that door to split and come open. So uh, a lot of people are, are concerned about over penetration and stuff like that. The bir uh, bird shot really would be the best in my opinion if you're really concerned about over penetration. But the flip side of that is what if somebody's shooting at you from behind something like one of these doors or something. Then you'll be wishing you had the buckshot or the slug. So everything's a trade-off. You just have to really be careful because you're responsible for anything that leaves that muzzle you're responsible for where it ends up. So guys, we've had some fun today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you could only have one shotgun in your home, I would recommend you give this one a look. I would never tell anybody which shotgun to buy or, or even which load to protect their home with. But I do think it would deserve a look. Um, now I did a video last year. I'll put a link to it up here on the screen. And if you're on a device that won't let you link there, I'll have it in the description. I did a video on the three different loads from a 12 gauge and how they performed through interior walls 
it's a pretty good video worth a look but we'll see you guys again soon thanks for watching